Hello and welcome to the Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. My girlfriend will be here next week. She has stuff to do. Her place. And I'm here again to talk about SmackDown. SmackDown is really fun. I don't know what's going on, but SmackDown really is becoming the A show. But let's get right to it. And kind of, I've had a busy week a little bit. I just posted my Lucha Underground kind of re- recap and review video. Tomorrow, I get to go to New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm going to post a good video about that because I have to do a lot of editing. Figure out what videos I want to save for my one flashcard. Um, just a whole bunch of technical, boring stuff. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, feel free to home to email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Let's talk a little about SmackDown. SmackDown was really fun. Again, it starts off with Ms. TV. And he has the Bludgeon Brothers on. And for the almost the whole segment, and this seemed like it just was timed right. Wasn't too short, wasn't too long, but the Miz was absolutely terrified of the Bludgeon Brothers and really did all the talking. The Bludgeon Brothers were the strong, silent type. And that's good. That fits their persona pretty good. Until Daniel and Bryant comes down, says, which one of you is going to fight me? And we'll find out later. Then you have the New Day drinking pancake mixes. Pancake milkshakes, whatever. And... Again, you have the this sets up for the first match of the night, which is Xavier Woods versus Rusev Machka. And Aiden English is back to singing, which is really good. I didn't like his kind of spoken word rap thing. That kind of seemed weird. He He's much better at singing. So we had Xavier Woods versus Ruf, Rusev. Again, styles make the fight. In this, you have speed versus power. You have Brains versus Braun. Everything that you, that you could expect. And it was a really fun match. In fact, it was so fun. As an opening match, they got a cheeseburger. And again, this led to Rusev cutting a promo on AJ Styles. How he's going to beat AJ Styles at Extreme Rules. Hopefully... I'll be able to stream live and my punishment will be over. If not, I think it'll be Hell in a Cell. I think I only have a few more days left from when I did very naughty stuff on YouTube. Again, the, the really fun thing is that the crowd really gets involved here the AJ Styles Rusev day. And that was good. Then you had a Naomi and Lana promo. Lana kind of lost her Russian accent. And there were, like, dancers there. I don't know who they were. Or enhancing talent, I don't know. Whatever, it is what it was. Then you have Jeff Hardy versus Eric Young of Sanity. And when it started off, this, this was kind of a good match. It was, it was really odd. The two don't seem to have a great chemistry together yet. Jeff Hardy is a consummate professional along with Eric Young. Um, I was kind of waiting for it to be a numbers game. And we'll, we'll talk about that later. Gosh, twist of fate. It looked kind of awkward and weird. Overall, it was, a, it, was an, it was an okay match. And, and, and the match itself between the two of them? A ham sandwich! Because it was okay. And, and the reason why is because we had a death to finish, baby! Nobody wins! Because the Usos got involved, they beat up the rest of Sanity. Of course, the Usos get involved in the match, which leads to this qualification, which leads to the dusty finish, which leads to a holla, holla, holla six man tag action where you have the Hardys and the Usos versus Sanity. And I'm, I'm kind of happy to see Sanity there. They do need more spotlight. And the big question on everyone's mind where's Nikki? We want Nikki. We want Nikki. So we want Nikki. Nikki Cross. She, she was kind of that fun part of sanity. She just ran around the ring, bouncing off people. Funny. But again, this was actually a really good match. Again, here you have kind of the high flyers. Again, clash styles. You have the high flyers 
versus just just really the brutes, especially when you watch Kill, Killian Dane wrestle. Um, every wrestler kind of got their spots in. Killian Dane, that was a super kick party, and Killian Dane was the recipient of it. And it was a fun match. It ended up, Eric, I want to say Alexander Wolf took the loss. This was a couple nights ago, so kind of my notes are chicken scratch. But I want to say Wolf took the loss after the Swanton bomb. And actually, the six man tag match was a cheeseburger. Pretty good. Then you had Becky Lynch. Yeah, this was a really wrestle heavy episode. And when they did do backstage segments, they were, they were seemed, seemed to be really quick, or at least to the point. And then you had uh, Becky Lynch versus Sonya Deville. Boo, Sonya Deville. She gets automatic boos, even though she's her outfits are better looking. Boo, Sonya Deville. Again, this was this was kind of a good match. Again, you have again clash of styles. You have a striker versus a grappler. It was fun. Um, both came out very aggressive. I was super aggressive once they got to the outside. And it was really a fun match. Uh, Mandy Rose tried to get involved, uh, tried to distract Becky Lynch. I think she ultimately cost Sonya Deville the match because of her involvement. I think the two of them like knocked heads or, or Deville got knocked to Mandy Rose who, who tried to interfere again. Again, it was a fun match. And, not, 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 nothing spectacular. And for that, a ham sandwich. Again, you could have a ham sandwich anytime. This just felt like a match you could really have anytime. Although I think this is teasing a little bit if I've listened to some other podcasts that Becky Lynch is really trying to push for a woman's tag team belt, which I think they had, geez, I think when I watched it, it Back in the 80s, I forget who were the champions, but I know one of the tag teams was the Jumping Bomb Angels, I think, from Japan. And that memory goes back a long time. So, again, it would be, it would be fun to see that. Ooh, a Jumping Bomb Angel classic. Almost like the Mayo. And, I don't know, they've been giving you a really wonky work schedule. I might try to get to the May Young class. Don't promise anything, Nostrand. Um, still have a while to go. I know it's the 7th and 8th. It might. Uh, it depends on work and a whole bunch of other stuff. I have to help my sister move. That'll be interesting. You'll see more. <laughs> uh, um, then you have a backstage segment with, with Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10, and James Ellsworth. Ellsworth's trying to say how he's the man, but he's not the man. And in fact, with the mask, now he's a perfect 10. But James Ellsworth came out, cuts a promo, um, challenges Asuka. Again, James Ellsworth, be careful what you ask for. It may come true. I want So Paige comes out, make the match. They have a date next Tuesday. Gonna be one on one, James Ellsworth and Asuka in a match. So that should be pretty fun. And if it's done right, like the way they did the James Ellsworth Becky Lynch match, which again was really fun, that it oohs and ahs. Nothing truly weird happened. I know there was the one ooh when James Ellsworth seems to push her, but Becky seems to be the person that's like, come on, push me. I'll be okay. Gave her the shot, and the whole crowd went, whoa. But uh, again, if it's done right, as long as it's not um, Minoru Suzuki, Asuka situation, I forget what name she wrestled under Japan. So, but that, the, after the first couple of chops and slaps, it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That kind of cringeworthy again after like, Plot number 15 of <laughs> Minoru Suzuki just <laughs> wailing on her. Again, you can see like one or two. I guess that wasn't that bad. They were open hand. Probably, I think they get, get each other in the neck or like they make it sound good. It always sounds a lot worse than 
people say, I, I've gotten chopped before. Chest slaps are, they sting, they do leave a mark. And, but as long as you're not getting chopped by Walter, who bruised the heck out of one of the Quebecers, chest is like, ooh. You want to see, talk, Daniel Bryan cannot go against Walter. I don't know what would happen. He cave in Daniel Bryan's chest because his chest is turned to like hamburger color. And he gets chopped. He needs to come down here to the Florida sun. Um, then you had again the main event with Daniel Bryan. And this was Daniel Bryan versus Luke Harper. And this was really good. This was a surf and surf match. I mean, it, again, you have the technician versus just the brute. Whenever Daniel Bryan tried to do some high action, top rope, flippy stuff, Harper caught him just like the stronger brute should, top, tossed him around. Uh, it took a couple of times to get Harper to his knees for, for his yes kicks. Again, couldn't connect on the third one. He ducked it. Again, Luke Harper, they're booking him the right way because he takes the hits, but just whenever he delivers something, it just looks ooh, so much more powerful and painful. And then Brian locked in the yes lock in Harper, and it's like, is Harper going to lose? And, and then Rowan got involved, and it was a death there finish, baby. Nobody wins. And so now you have the numbers game until Kane comes out. Da -da 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 -da. And kind of neat. And you have teasing of Hell No. And in fact, next week, we have the Hell No versus the Bludgeon Brothers for the SmackDown Championships. Tag Team Championship. So again, that should, that should be really fun. That should be interesting, interesting to see. And as a bonus, next week it's going to be myself and my girlfriend both doing the Raw and SmackDown reviews. So it should be a good time for all. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. And again, I'll keep everyone notified as to when I go live. I haven't figured out what I'm, how I'm going to do stuff yet. I don't know if I'll use like the one program I have and just do really simple stuff. Again, I might have pictures up of wrestlers on one side. I'll have to figure that out later. Unless you know who won while talking, taking questions. Again, a little bit more of the inter an interactive process there once you're live stream. Again, I'd like to thank everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you feel to leave an email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Thank you, everyone. Everyone have a good weekend. And look forward probably Sunday, early Monday.